Hey gamers, it's me Shinobi Nando and welcome to another What's in the Box? The show where I slog through the internet for hours on end so you don't have to sit there looking at spreadsheets in order to find the best edition. Speaking of which, today we're doing Square Enix's Marvel's Avengers and I wasn't joking about spreadsheets on this one. There's a lot of different editions from a lot of different places doing a lot of different physical and digital pre-order bonuses. All right, no time for my usual jokes or skits. Let's jump straight into this because this may take a while. So let's get the easiest thing out of the way first and foremost, the standard edition. Anyone who pre-orders the standard edition of the game will get the Marvel Legacy Outfit Pack. This comes with either the standard or deluxe version of the game. You'll get the Marvel Legacy nameplate, online beta access, and the classic Avenger outfits from the comics, including World War II Cap, Banner as he just transformed, Camilla's prototype costume and Iron Man's costume from when he escapes the caves in wherever this one will be set. <sighs> now we'll jump into the retailer exclusive bonuses. Ordering from Amazon in either the UK or the US will net you a digital comic of Marvel's Avengers. This is a prequel tie-in comic to the game. For those of you in Australia and the similar territories, you can get this from EB Games. Also, I saw on Reddit that you can get these Marvel Collector's Edition badges. Uh, these are patches that you can sew onto a shirt or a jacket. Apparently, they were first spotted on a Portuguese retailer. If I find any more details, I'll add it to the description, guys, but I haven't found the exact store, nor have I seen this with any other retailers. This might be a unique thing to our European friends. Now, one for my fellow Steelbook collectors. Ordering from select retailers will net you this very nicely designed steelbook, which is designed by renowned Marvel comic artist, Mark Brooks. As far as I can see, this steelbook is absolutely free. Uh, you can get it from the following retailers, which is in Australia, EB Games, Game in the UK, and Best Buy in the United States. Guys, if you're going for the standard edition of the game and you're getting a physical edition, this is a no-brainer. We'll take a closer look at the artwork now. As you can see, this is very beautifully designed. As someone who collects a lot of steelbooks, I can tell you right now, I love them when they have tons of detail. This looks like it is part of the comic book. It may even be part of the artwork from the prequel comic. We'll have to wait and see. Again, if you're ordering it physically or if you simply collect steelbooks like myself, pick this version up. Now, moving over to the deluxe edition, you can get the same physical pre-order bonuses as well as the digital DLC and comic, depending on your retailer. But getting the deluxe edition will net you the following. You'll get 72 hours early access to the game. You'll get the Obsidian nameplate pack. You'll get Marvel Unlimited for one month, so you could read Marvel Comics online. And you'll get the Obsidian outfit pack. Those that pre-order the digital deluxe edition will still get the 72 hour early access, an exclusive Miss Marvel nameplate, a thousand credits, which I don't, I don't know how much the currency's worth in game, so I don't know if that's a lot or if that's next to nothing. We'll just have to wait and see. I assume you're gonna use these to buy in-game upgrades or cosmetics. And for pre-ordering on the PlayStation 4, you'll also get this Miss Marvel talk to the hand emote. I mean, I suppose it's funny. It's like, I don't know why a Gen Z superhero would be doing talk to the hand from the 90s. Maybe ironically, I mean, it's free, so I guess. When Sony announced they were gonna be doing exclusive pre-order content for the Avengers game, um, this wasn't what I was expecting. Hey right, guys, because there's a lot going on with these editions, before we move on to the big boy collector's edition, here's a quick chart of what gets you what in terms of the standard and deluxe edition. So feel free to pause this part of the video because I'm not gonna linger on it too long, but here, have a look. Enough of that, let's move on to the big boy, the Earth's Mightiest Edition. Now I'm gonna go into great detail in this one because I've heard a few people complain, but I don't think they quite realize what's inside this edition. In fact, this is probably one of my favorite kind of collector's editions. I love collector's editions that have in-game items as replicas inside of them. Each individual item in this collector's edition is actually from inside the game itself. Starting off, you can see here in the background that there is the blueprint for Iron Man's armor, so that's Tony's. 
you have a Black Widow's belt buckle, you have a Mjolnir keychain, you have the 15 centimeter Hulk bobblehead, and you have Camilla Khan's honorary Avengers pin, as well as a 13 by 18 Avengers Day group photo. And lastly, you have the 30 centimeter full color Captain America statue. Now, as I said, guys, I'm gonna break these down quickly because I can already tell the comments are gonna fill up with that bobblehead looks crap. Why is the Captain America statue in color? Okay, so that last point I can't really explain away because you're right in the game. It is in fact uh, bronze or, or grayed out. The Hulk bobblehead, you may be wondering how that factors in. It's in the trailer and it's kind of like a blink and you'll miss it kind of moment. It's actually on Bruce Banner's uh, van when he's driving Camilla Khan to the, the damaged helicarrier. And it appears to be a gift from Tony Stark. Probably some kind of in-game banter between them. I shouldn't really have to explain where Mjolnir comes from or Black Widow's belt buckle, but you know, they're, you know, he swings the hammer, makes the lightning and she has all her gadgets kind of like Batman stored in her belt, like her Widow Bites or in her gauntlets. And if you don't know what a steelbook is by now, just, just go, just, just leave, please. All joking aside, I do think that the steelbook that you get free for pre-ordering is nicer than the one you get in the collector's edition, which always sucks when that happens. The last item you can briefly see again in the trailer, this is the badge that I'm assuming the Avengers give Camilla Khan before the events of the terrorist attack that leads to the Terrigen Mist transforming her into Miss Marvel. You could see a young Camilla Khan here. She, she's obviously a huge fan of the Avengers. Even one point in the trailer, you could see her talking to them. I'm assuming it's either like Cap or maybe Iron Man just pit, places a badge on her at some point. It goes without saying that this edition will come with all the DLC extras that the other two did. And again, retailer dependent, you might get the digital comic or you might get the free steel book if you ask nicely guys here in the uk the earth's money edition was 209 pounds as far as i'm aware you can get it in the united states from gamestop or from the square enix store internationally i also did a bit of research i tried to find a retailer in australia strangely it seems like eb games in new zealand is doing the uh, Earth's money is edition for 500 New Zealand dollars. So people in Australia, I don't know if you're gonna have to pre-order it from there or just get it directly from the Square store. Well guys, that was a bit of a long one. Uh, that was, you know, Marvel Avengers, the various editions, the various pre-order bonuses. Like I said, there's quite a few. Hopefully I helped you make a decision. Hopefully I took a lot of the busy work out of there for you. Let me know what version you're getting down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm hopefully doing cosplay in order to unbox this one i'm still you know shedding the weight quite quickly fingers crossed and as always a like would be super appreciated it really lets me know that you guys find these videos helpful and that i should continue doing them i don't want to waffle on any longer this video is already longer than i intended it to be so i'll see you in the next what's in the box or you know one of my other videos i, I do other stuff just saying bye 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 Bye. Speaking of just saying Dragon Ball Z unboxing, bye.